Hi, YouTube and YouTubers. Today um, I'm going to review the all new Lenovo Vive K4 Nord, which I recently produced, uh, purchased, and uh, a flip cover. No, sorry, a back cover and a VR headset which comes along with it so why the title honest uh, review is because I'm reviewing it as a user and uh, it's been I think uh, three weeks since I got this and um, because I now have used it and uh, my review is totally honest because I'm a user right now and for another maybe a year so this review is for people who actually want to purchase it and uh, want an honest review <coughs> you know rather than uh, the, you know a review from somebody who actually is reviewing just for the sake of review so um, starting off first thing Lenovo have this is a perfectly um, designed uh, mobile phone which is dual SIM and uh, <coughs> extendable battery and the extendable memory I'm sorry so this is a dual SIM extendable memory this back cover and this uh, battery can come out but it says here do not remove so of course um, it says that it cannot be removed but I think it can be now the back says you know on the back and um, Dolby Atmos on the bottom um, camera and this is the fingerprint scanner which is by the way one of the backdrops of it but if you if you if you uh, you know uh, compare it with the, the iPhone 6s then this fingerprint scanner is not that much good but yeah good good enough I, I think this is the first one that I have ever encountered after iPhone 6 and this is pretty good but not as good as iPhone okay the performance uh, let's see what, how the design is so it's pretty sleek they have this charger and data cable over here um, Dolby Atmos so you have speakers all around you have your uh, headphone jack over here and um, front end camera three buttons on the big on on your front end panel standard uh, Android design um, the um, Android uh, interface and everything is perfectly fine so uh, quite good at, as far as touch is concerned all the standard software comes pre-installed like Google, Twitter, Facebook, etc. One of the features <coughs> that I really like about it is, you know, um, this. This is a floating point button, which is basically a shortcut for your recently used and uh, most of your uh, software that you can actually use from here. Secondly, it's a double tap. You can switch it off and, um, you know, again by switch touching at the back it can be switched on so basically you're not using the power on and off button from here um, okay you have the uh, you have you know clear up all your uh, recent applications and you know free up your RAM over here so basically great so overall the phone itself is a complete package and everything that you require in a phone is already there so I think it's one of the best phones um, with 12,000 rupees it's value for money so obviously um, it's, it's pretty good for 12,000 mid range mid 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 high range uh, I guess it is a pretty good phone um, some technical jargons coming your way now so 5.5 inch um, theater max technology theater max technology with Dolby Atmos so theater max technology is basically um, for your VR headset so if you long press your uh, start button, it will give you VR mode, which basically distribute these two, these the one panel into two. And now that when you wear the VR glasses, these two will appear as one in in your eye because you know VR glasses right here. Um, 
same button, VR mode can be switched off. So that is that is that. Android 5.1 and 3 GB RAM is basically uh, which interests me. 3300 mAh lithium battery, so 29 hours of talk time, which the uh, configuration says, um, instruction says. But yeah, I don't know. 29 hours of talk time with a smartphone is not really that uh, kind of a uh, thing that you believe on but yeah okay cool um so that that's what it is secondly um uh, we can look at the box here the box is typical all the things that came with it is um, some instructions a back cover which is not that great but yeah you get it and charger and data cable now you don't get a headset <coughs> or a bike or hands-free with it. I don't know why I don't really need it But you know what doesn't give it to you Second item that we are reviewing that I purchased with it is this VR headset. It's first thing is one of a kind very nice and um, The finishing thing on it is very good that being said the drawbacks are You know, it's not really easy to you know use because you know you need to hold this one and then you put your phone inside it because you know it keep on closing itself so it's it's you know somebody has to hold this up like this and like this and then you put your phone inside it something like this so it's not that it's not that easy to operate once the phone is in then it's pretty easy straightforward from there but you know if you do not have a bluetooth uh, you know device like a Bluetooth mouse or a Bluetooth keyboard, then it's pretty hard to manage, uh, you know, because you have to touch from something from here while the phone is on, you have to touch from here to navigate. So that's kind of a difficult thing. One thing. Secondly, um, although padding, the soft padding, so for this area and for this area, the padding, soft padding is there, but still it's pretty hard to, you know, uh, wear it although designed specifically for Limo, Lenovo but still it's it's kind of a hard to uh, wear it for a long period of time so around 30 minutes to an hour it's perfectly fine after that uh, I'm sorry uh, for 30 minutes is perfectly fine after that is pretty difficult the thing I um, another thing I purchased with it is um, this uh, okay I give you the exact name is called Tarkin Dazzle hard armored hybrid rubber bumper flip stand rugged back cover co case cover so it's basically this is a soft cover and this is a hard cover so these two combine and gives you a unique thing and now it's a perfect fit on the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note and um, it actually covers up for, for the edges and the screen too now it's a Gorilla Glass uh, phone so it's basically covered up if you have tempered glass like I have I have put in a tempered glass over here so if you have tempered glass then Gorilla Glass underneath and this hard cover behind it so I don't think anything else is required actually to you know keep this uh, phone for long I mean uh, secured for long um, and again this is you can you can uh, you know um, view your phone from you know if you want from a tabletop you can view it from this so pretty cool um, I got this for 12,000 1300 another 1300 for this and I think 250 for this so amazing package and uh, 64 GB um, extendable memory that I have got uh, as well for around 1200 1100 I think so uh, the most amazing features is that you know the extendable memory the phone is itself is a package of software and hardware, the VR glasses and the power charger. You know, there's a speed up charger with it. So uh, fast charger 2.0. So that's another thing. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the phone. If you really want a value for money phone, then go for Lenovo Y K4 Note. Although uh, Lenovo 5. K, K5 is already in the market. I, I heard that soon is going to be out. So I don't know uh, if somebody want to purchase an older one, but yeah, very good phone. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please let me know your comments 
or uh, like it or you know hate it but yeah do let me know and um, i'm gonna review the spotlight movie soon which is gonna the link gonna appear over here and um, my new bike that is pulsar as 200 that that review is gonna appear over here thank you very much